Hey guys, welcome to My So Bliss. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these really cute rope coasters with scrap fabric. I just got this rope off of Amazon. It's a cotton rope. I think it's meant for like clothesline or something and it worked out really well. And then I used some scrap fabric. You can use any kind you have. I also used um, some Elmer's glue. You don't necessarily need that or you could use fray check. And then you're just gonna need your basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. You're gonna start by twisting the rope in on itself. It could fray a little bit, but we are gonna use a zigzag stitch over the top of that, so it shouldn't be an issue. And I'm just going over that spot from left side to right side with a big zigzag stitch um, and turning it as I go. It's really helpful if you leave the needle down when you do this and then lift your presser foot and turn it. Now I'm just gonna prepare my strips of fabric. I'm just ironing the raw edges in on themselves um, so they're all hidden. And then I'm gonna start wrapping it around the rope and tucking those raw edges in. It kind of takes a second, so be patient. I do use a stiletto tool, which is super, super helpful with this project. Um, and then I just keep zigzagging across that, catching the rope with the fabric on it and then going back to the middle of the rope so it's from left to right like i said and you just keep going around in a circle and i just wrap until i'm done with that scrap of fabric i haven't really measured it um, or done anything specific it's just kind of fun and um, you can do whatever you want or whatever size you want whatever length of fabric you want or width and then i just keep sewing around it and prepare another strip of fabric this time I also made sure to iron those ends in so there's no raw edges. Um, it makes it a lot easier. And then just started wrapping it around the rope again. And again, using my stiletto tool, so helpful on this project. And I am pulling the fabric pretty tight as well as the rope. So it's just budding up right next to the rope circle that we've created and continuing around in that circle. Um, if you need to lift your presser foot, just make sure your needle's down so you can pivot around and around because you just keep going in a circle. There really was no rhyme or reason to where and when I added the fabric strips. Um, I just kind of eyeballed it and saw what felt good to me and looked right. And the last one, I had two strips going together. It was a little tricky, but it worked out fine. At the very end, I made sure to backstitch and then cut my threads. You could create a loop here on the coaster, but I just trimmed mine. And then I'm using an extra piece of my folded fabric and just folding up the raw edges and covering um, that piece of rope that I just trimmed off. And I'm just gonna fold it on the backside as well. It probably would be helpful if I had clips or pins to pin this in place, but I made it work and just held it in place and then put it under, under my sewing machine um, and did a zigzag stitch back and forth over that. Again, I was using that stiletto tool, which was super helpful to hold it in place. And this is where I probably should have used the pins, but it worked out good. It looks good. And I kind of feel like it gives it a finished look right there. If you're still worried about that fraying, I suggest using like Elmer's glue or fray check and just putting that um, on those edges of the rope. And if you have any other spots where maybe fabric is showing, you could put a tiny dot of glue or fray check to fix that. And now you are all done with your rope and scrap fabric coaster. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.